qualities of people that we're dealing with and see who we can work with. You understand? You know, who, who we can choose, you understand, and who we have to refuse. Um, but what country were you talking about when you said the only democracy that existed? I'm just curious about that point. No, I didn't have a country. I was talking really about Ethiopia because that's what was happening at the time. So I was just making the point that if there's going to be any real democracy, like because at the time, People were complaining about how Carter hadn't come in or how he had come and touched down and hadn't gone anywhere, but I was already talking about Mellis and what he should be doing. And then it was on, on one end, it was good that Mellis was keeping America out and keeping some of the Western countries out, because then you maintain control of your country. You know what I mean? Well, it's Ethiopians, not, I think, will always do that. But at the same time, though, he also didn't want to expose the things that were going on. So it was like all these things happening you know, politically, and what should Ethiopia do, and then we were learning about what was happening between um, Ethiopia and Eritrea, and how there was this this passage, this water, basically, that they're fighting over, access to, you know, the coast. Um, yeah, no, no, um, Ethiopia's landlocked, yeah, Ethiopia's landlocked now. Right, but, and how, but how they became landlocked, and how yeah. they're so, how Ethiopia says, well, no, that's my hours and how Eritreans are like, no, it's ours now, and how some Eritreans are like, we're not Ethiopians, and some are like, we really are Ethiopians. But, yeah, 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 you know, but, 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 but we know, know who's like, behind you know, that? You know who's behind that to cut you, but you know who be, was behind you know, that? Um, and not just Italy, yeah, but also then, right? Gaddafi. Also, Gaddafi was behind oh, that. Really? Gaddafi is behind the whole Eritrean Ethiopian oh, conflict. Yeah. Because this is what I wanted to say to you before. Uh, and this is this is a big thing among the white people who are aristocratic, upper crust, who are part of the system, who go in the system with both eyes open, so so to speak. They they learn about these weird rare parts of history, like the Carthaginian Wars. That's when Italy, the Romans, were fighting against the um, the Carthage. You understand? And when they burned Carthage to the ground and destroyed Carthage. So behind Muammar Gaddafi, when I say that, I won't be surprised if he's an agent for the Vatican. A dissembler, I mean an agent provocateur. He fits the description of an AP. I'm not saying Associated Press, but an agent provocateur in the content. He was that way back in the early days of the OAU. You understand? He, he supported, financed, and funded rebel movements against Haile Selassie's imperial Ethiopian government from Eritrea. You understand? I mean, and when people say he's a, he's a Pan-African and a rebel, what has he done? What has he accomplished? The only thing people can say he's done is he gave people money. He bought people off with that oil money. And oil money is just dead civilization money. You understand? Yeah. So basically, wherever the Arabs go, they become like a, um, they become like a business, not a businessman, but a merchant. They're like a merchant, a merchant um, race. They, they are one of the last remnants of the biblical type of Canaanites that you can find as, as merchants. And when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. Overcome the lies, the good news of his majesty in his Christ, and it is vital that we raise our tribal flag, the flag of the conquering lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Uh, millions of Christians throughout the world, your imperial majesty, will regard you as the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. And when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, silence covered the sky. <laughs> <laughs> 